Hello, today we're going to show you how to use VLLM, which is considered the gold standard for LLM inferencing. We'll demonstrate this in a very easy to follow way by deploying Meta's Llama 3 model, one of the most popular open source options available. To keep everything simple, we'll use the Docker container that VLLM provides and run it on Google Cloud's Cloud Run service. Cloud Run is specifically designed for running Docker containers, which makes our work much easier. If you're familiar with other cloud providers like Amazon Web Services or AWS, you can think of this as similar to AWS Fargate, but today we'll focus on using Cloud Run. In a typical production environment, you would want to define all your infrastructure as code, usually using tools like Terraform for those infrastructure definitions. However, to make this tutorial more straightforward, we'll use a simplified approach. Let's begin by accessing the Google Cloud interface to prepare our Cloud Run deployment. When we select Deploy Service, we'll have the option to choose a container image from Docker Hub. This will be our VLLM service. We've made things a bit simpler here because we won't be using the Llama model directly. Instead, we'll work through Hugging Phase, which hosts the model weights for the Llama 3.2 model. This setup allows us to smoothly bring those weights into the VLLM inference system. Now let's visit the Hugging Face documentation. We'll navigate to the Models section and select a smaller version of the Llama model. Specifically, we'll use the 3.2 1 billion parameter model. Since this is our first time using this model, we'll need to review and accept the terms before we can proceed. After you've been granted access to this gated model, the banner will collapse to show you now have permission to use it. We'll need the model ID for our setup, but to understand exactly how to use it, we should consult the VLLM documentation. Let's open the VLLM homepage, go to the Docs section, and find the Deploying with Docker page. There are two crucial elements we need to consider. First, we must provide our Hugging Face Hub token because we're working with a gated model. Even though we've completed the access process, we still need this authentication so our Docker image can access the model. Second, we need to specify the correct flag for our chosen model. When we evaluate our architecture, we can see it's quite straightforward. We only need to provision one Cloud Run service. Cloud Run offers many configuration options, and one important consideration is how to handle cold starts. Cold starts would be particularly slow in this scenario because we need both to boot up the container and download the model. To address this, we'll set the minimum instance count to 1, ensuring our service is always running. Let's return to Cloud Run and get the Docker image information from the documentation. After pasting in the image details, we'll name it VLLM Llama and set it to run in the US Central Region for easier testing. We'll configure it to allow unauthenticated invocations and, as mentioned, set the minimum instance count to 1 to minimize those cold starts. We need to verify the port settings. The default configuration shows port 8080, but we actually need port 8000, so we'll make that adjustment in Cloud Run. Next, we need to set up our container arguments, specifically the model parameter. We'll copy the model ID from Hugging Face and paste it into our container arguments. Since we're demonstrating with a relatively small model and won't be using GPUs, we should increase our CPU and memory allocations. We'll set it to four CPUs and 16 gigabytes of memory to ensure we have sufficient resources to run the model effectively. While Cloud Run is a mature and flexible serverless Docker service with many configurable options, the essential step we need to complete is setting up our Hugging Face token. Let's grab the environment variable name and create a token to access our Llama 3.2 model. We'll navigate to the Access Token section from the user page and create a new token. 
Since we're only pulling the model, we just need read permissions. After creating the token, we'll copy its value and set it as our environment variable. Now we're ready to try deploying the service to see if our configuration works correctly. However, we encounter an error. The service fails to start. Checking the logs, we see there's an issue with the model argument. Noticing that some arguments use equal signs, we wonder if the space in our argument might be causing the problem, so we adjust that to test. Unfortunately, even after adjusting the argument format, we run into another error. Failed to infer device type. This suggests we need to explicitly specify the device type. When we examine the Docker file, we notice it's installing CUDA, which isn't necessary for our CPU-only runtime. This leads us to a better solution. We discover there's a dockerfile.cpu available that's specifically designed for CPU environments. Let's take a different approach by building our own custom Docker image. We'll push this image to Artifact Registry and use it as our CPU runtime, calling it VLLM CPU and US Central 1. This step introduces a new component to our process, Artifact Registry, which will serve as the storage location for our Docker images that CloudRun will consume. We proceed by using git clone to download the VLLM repository, which allows us to build the CPU-specific Docker file. After our image finishes building, we push it to our newly created repository. A quick refresh of our repository shows the new image is now available for use in CloudRun. In this second attempt, we're replacing the pre-built container from Docker Hub with our custom image that's properly configured for non-GPU runtimes. As the saying goes, third time's the charm, we finally have a running service that successfully avoids cold starts. Now comes the most important part, testing our service. We'll open up CloudShell to interact with our new API. For our API test, we'll use the curl tool along with our CloudRun URL, which we previously configured for unauthenticated access. Since the system uses OpenAI style inference, we'll work with the v1 completions endpoint and specify our prompt in JSON format. While we're showing this in a terminal environment, it's worth noting that you could integrate this into any automated pipeline or application system. We need to specify which model we're using since VLLM can potentially run multiple different language models. We return to the trending models page to find our 3.2 billion parameter model and include that in our JSON request. After sending our request, we quickly receive a response with the text, once upon a time, years ago, and for a split second it felt like yesterday, I, and it stops there. 
this short response demonstrates that we can adjust the maximum number of returned tokens in our requests to get longer outputs. To prove this point, we make another request with adjusted parameters, and within seconds, we receive a different, much longer story. If you'd like to support the channel, consider starting a free trial of our new design tool, which is linked in the description, and let us know what you think. We'll include the diagram file in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching to the end, and please enjoy responsibly.